Hi everybody, today in class we worked more on dependent and independent variables as we did yesterday and today we went one step further with them after we graphed them or put them into a table then we actually graphed them. So we're going to go through those steps today. Determine which variable is the independent variable and which is the variable is a dependent variable. Write an equation, make a table, and to plot the points from the table onto the graph. Here's our scenario. Enoch can type 40 words per minute. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a highlighter to start highlighting some basic information I know I'm going to need. Let W be the amount of words that are typed, and let M be the number of minutes spent typing. So when I'm looking at dependent and independent variables, first of all, I have to decide which one is dependent on the other. So I do this in my head. Is a number of words dependent on the minutes that they spend typing, or is a number of minutes depending on how many words are typed? So usually that helps you make sense of it. Like the, the backwards one, the minutes to words, doesn't really make sense. So what is independent has to be minutes. I can type for one minute, or two minutes, or three minutes. And in that typing time, depends on how many words are typed. So my words are dependent on the number of minutes spent typing. So my dependent is words, and the words are dependent upon the minutes. So I'll go ahead and just use my highlighter to help me here. Words are dependent. Dependent goes in the second column of my table and the minutes is independent that goes into the first column of my table. So we'll go ahead and now that I've got that I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to shorten the word minutes here and let my dependent variable be words. This was going to be W and this is M for minutes. So I've got two variables starting with my independent variable. Um, it says 40 words per minute. So in one minute I have 40 words. So I'm just going to go up 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes. Now, if it's 40 words per minute, when I think about an equation, it's really 40 words per 1 minute. So times 1 minute will give me the amount of my words. So if I'm going to continue working that out, if I have 40 words in 1 minute, if I times that by 2, 40 times 2, now I have 80 words. If I have 3 minutes, 40 times 3 is 120 words. And we continue that, 40 times 4, 160 words. 40 times 5, now I have 200 words that are being typed. All right. The other thing that we learned, now that we have an equation, so we've done that. We've determined which is independent and which is dependent. The, we've filled in the table. The last part of my direction say plot the points from the table onto the graph. So I know that a graph needs titles. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start out with my titles. My title of my graph is um, words per minute. typed. And then I have my x and my y axis I have to think about to label. On this, the x axis is always your independent variable, your y axis is always your dependent variable. So that think about that your y axis is dependent on your x axis. So the the we'll start with our x axis and the x comes before y and when you set up a pair the chord ordered pair is x, y. If we set up our chart that way, everything from the table comes off in the correct order. One minute, 40 words, and so on. So our x, we want this to be our minutes. And when I go over here, that means our total words typed. All right, I know that each graph needs to have a zero there, 
And now when I look at my minutes, one through five, I have plenty of space for each of these lines to be a separate number. One, two, three, four, five. I can keep going if I want, but I only need to go graph up through my five. Now words, I can see that I've got 40, 80, 120. They go up by 40s. I can continue that here. I can count by 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s. But since my data is already set up in my 40s, I'm going to continue with the pattern that I see there. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. So it fills up half my chart, but it's OK. I could skip every other line, too, if I needed to. So now, knowing I'm graphing my, plotting my points with x, y, the first one is 1 minute, 40 words. If I move on my x-axis to the 2 minutes, I go up to 80 words. 3 minutes, it tells me 120 words. 4 minutes, I'm going up to 160. And at 5 minutes, I'm going up to 200. So I can see that it formed a straight line if I connect the dots, which means that my equation, 40 times the amount of minutes equals my words, I've done and calculated everything correct. So from this graph, I should be able to formulate a sentence. I should be able to tell that the um, number of minutes is my independent variable, which lies on the x-axis. And I know that my total words typed is on my y-axis. I could pull out of the information saying that for every three minutes, I can type 120, or Enoch can type 120 words. Um, and I know that the equation for that particular graph is 40m equals w. So I hope this helps you with your practice. Good luck. Make a difference.